wow, th this is awesome. There's a computerized map on this receiver. It says that we have to go northwesterly, so... Oh, take a, take a right, right here. Okay, got it. <laughs> uh, Van, uh, are you sure you have those coordinates right? We're coming into Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. Okay, listen, Van, I think you got us to the right place. Read some more on the GPS instructions. I'm going to take this and see what I can find out, okay? And I'll be back in just a few moments. Bush Gardens. The bearings say here... Feathered Follies. Okay. Hello? Excuse me. Am I in the right place? Is this the first leg of the road rally? Yeah, come on down. Oh, great. Fantastic. Oh, Van, my man, you got us here. You navigated us correctly. All right. Oh, I am so relieved. Hi, I'm Shelly Canwright. I'm Denise. Oh, I'm so glad to know I'm at the right place. Here's my rally log. Okay. If you could sign that, please. And I'm curious, where am I? What is Feathered Follies? This is the Feathered Follies Bird Show at Bush Gardens. And what we do here is we have hawks, falcons, owls fly through the theater. We have different types of parrots that do different behaviors to entertain the audience, the guests while they're here. So what in the world does feathered follies have to do with navigation or GPS? I'm confused. Well, all our birds that are here out in the wild, they do some type of natural migration. Um, songbirds migrate at night. They follow the stars, the birds of prey. They migrate during the day so they can move with the way the sun changes. They're following mainly their food and looking for warm weather. What is the farthest that a bird has ever migrated? Do you have any The idea? Arctic tern is the bird species that migrates the most, and they can go from northern Greenland down to Antarctica. Wow, no kidding. This is fascinating, but I know I need to be on my way. So you've got some instructions there for me? Yes, your next leg is going to take you to learn about early navigation. Early navigation. All right, gang, you heard that? Back to the car. Let's get van and let's go. Denise, thanks very much. We're on our way. Good luck. All right, thanks. Man, you were right. You do know how to use one of these things. <laughs> what do you see? Oh, this is so neat. Birds. I learned how birds can navigate by instinct. Well, gee, that makes me wonder if the GPS could be used to study animals in nature. Hmm. Did you find our next clue? I did. All I know, though, is it has something to do with early navigation. Well, let's go. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> 